I got a can't miss idea for a video game here. We're gonna take the Metal Gear Solid V game engine, right? You know, the one that's designed for really cool, uh, like sneaking around in stealth and lots of non fatal ways to take down enemies, including, including ranged tranquilizer weapons. Well, we're gonna make it so that sneaking around is heavily penalized by the game. Right, we're gonna make it so that there's no non-fatal takedowns, and those ranged weapons, tranquilizer or fatal, we're gonna get rid of the tranquilizer ranged weapons. We're gonna make fatal ranged weapons just really impossible to use because you don't get any ammo. Basically, we're gonna take this great ranged combat engine, and we're gonna replace all weapons with a stick. Then you're going to fight zombies <laughs> on incredibly repetitive maps. It's a can't-miss formula. Hey, folks, I'm Sirius JG. Welcome back to Let's Play um, Metal Gear Solid... Metal Gear Survive, rather. It's not even Metal Gear Solid. It's Metal Gear Survive. So, I've been away from the game for a bit. Just, you know, logging on a couple times a week to, to pick up rewards. But I had, through crew management... Set my crew to working. Well, an interesting thing happened. Miranda now has a negative status. She had. Wonder how everyone's doing back home. It's kind of a worry. She had f grown a ton of potatoes, but she has since become fatigued. She has a hundred percent fatigue. Uh, this went from 0% fatigue to 100% fatigue immediately at some point. So I uh, took away her mission assignment uh, to see if her fatigue would go away because I can't find anything on the interwebs that talks about whether or not this will work. So I guess I'm going to try to find out. Now, we could go to treat her by using an energy drink, but I've only got five energy drinks, and I don't know how I would go about getting any more. So I'm hoping that just by not giving her a work assignment, her fatigue will eventually go away. Because she spent the last three days farming potatoes. In the meantime, Reeve hasn't done shit. Even though he's on the base development team, he hasn't done shit. He spent the entire time standing around over here. When I would log in and wander around my base, Miranda would be over here farming potatoes. Reeve, not so much. Meanwhile, potatoes continue to appear. Even, I guess, Reeve is, like, remotely farming potatoes. But they're not appearing at the rate they did back when I had her working on them. So, he apparently doesn't give a shit about growing food for our camp to use. Anyways, um... Potatoes are what we eat. But you gotta cook them first, or else you, you'll, like, you know, fucking die, I guess. So, I can make baked potatoes. It takes Kuban energy, although not much. So, let's bake five potatoes. Apparently, this requires access to a, your crafting zone and ten Kuban energy. The fact that I don't have, you know... Tin foil, sour cream, chives, bacon, you know, cheddar cheese. Like, none of that matters. I'm allowed to make baked potatoes. I'm not allowed to make any stews yet. Because I like corn, green peppers, uh, onions. Uh, well, it's an old Indian recipe. So I'm going to put away, because if I try to eat the potatoes without baking them, I believe that's probably considered bad. So let's get rid of them, and let's instead get baked potatoes, because baked potatoes are what we eat. Oh, all they do is give you more hunger recovery. They don't actually, well, never mind, I probably, in theory, wasn't much, but I guess I wasted coupon energy by baking these potatoes, because... 
you can eat them raw, and apparently it's not going to give you the same issues that eating other things raw will uh, do. Clean water. Uh, let's pick up a little bit more clean water. Because the next big story mission should be the one that actually allows us... Wrong button. To do something about getting our hands on clean water at last. I don't know that our the mission will actually address this in any way. Well, baked potatoes don't really do that much, do they? Yeah, they really don't do that much. So, oh, by not playing for a long stretch of time and letting her farm potatoes, I have 204 potatoes. So, it's not like I'm really all that worried about it, but still, I was expecting a little bit more out of uh, eating five baked potatoes than I got. Like, honestly, I gotta tell you, once I... Oh, mashed potatoes? Oh, that involves milk. And again, all it does is make it give you a slightly more... Yeah, you know, if you want a mashed potato, just uh, take a potato. Uh, you know, you don't even have to peel it. Just take a potato, pour milk on it. It's delicious. Uh, change recipe... Oh, never mind. Um, so I ended up baking potatoes that were in the storehouse anyway, so whatever. Well, now I got ten baked potatoes. I can take along another clean water. So I got five clean waters, three rations, and ten baked potatoes that I'm going to carry around into battle. Miranda is completely exhausted. Reeve hasn't gotten tired at all, probably because he hasn't done a fucking thing for the entire time we've been off screen. Yeah, you're looking at it right now, buddy. You're back to actually play the game, you jerk. Advance the plot. Eventually we get, like, a base defense team. I guess that's what he's supposed to be on. So maybe he's just mad because we're not doing the base defense team. So we can bake a crowbar. Which I guess is better than a rusty machete. But it's not a thrusting weapon. So a crowbar will do more damage. It is made from iron and adhesive. We have tons of iron. We don't have as much adhesive. Um, we could make a survival bow. I thought we already had a survival bow. We've got uh, junk, a broken pipe spear. What good does that do us? Well, we have a recipe that we can make a broken pipe spear. Why would we do that? I don't understand this game, obviously. So a pipe spear is attack of 80, durability of 50. Oh, a broken... The perk is that it, as a randomized, it might do less and it might do more damage. That just seems weird to me. Equipment-wise, we are currently lugging around... Those two whoppets. That is our gear. Our gear is all at 100%. Survival gear 3. What should I be? We don't have any survival gear, but I have to reach survival level 10 before I can have a third slot for the stuff that I'm not using anyway. I guess we don't have a bow. We just learned how to make one. I thought we actually had a bow. 
What if I were to select repair? What if I were to select dismantle? Okay. We, we literally just do not seem to have a bow. I thought we did. We don't. So I could craft a bow. I could also craft a bat, which would be my highest attack weapon I'm allowed to have other than the bow. But uh, I guess is... Uh, should, I, should I be using a bat? I'm not using a bat. I have been finding the spear generally works okay. Problem with making it... We can make our own gun, but it doesn't do anything for us. Maybe we should actually go see what bonus tasks we can do for more points. And maybe that will guide some of our thinking. So we can accept orders. Uh, craft food and drink. Oh, jeez. Craft specified number of... Craft specified number of the target items. See, I should have done this before I started messing around. Eliminate any wanderer humanoid type, including variants 3 without using bows okay so we should do all the daily order ones so crafting um, crafting food will do one of these uh, eliminating wanderers will do one gathering electric circuits salvage missions well I'm not doing salvage missions so I guess I shouldn't do this then I've got eliminate tracker eliminate the specified number of the target creatures trackers guess I will find out what the hell those are because I, I don't know that they're the regular old zomboids uh, craft a grenade crew deployment I haven't unlocked yet co-op missile mi missile mission I'm not doing co-op craft a grenade salvage salvage I guess maybe I'll try to craft a grenade. It's a possibility I'll be doing online salvage missions later. Um, I will leave it at that for now. Alright, let's try crafting food and see if that gives us our mission. These are the mission objectives. Woo! Alright. So we can bake a potato. For sole purposes. Okay, that counted. This is uh, completing that mission. Seems silly, but it did. So that will give us a materials case. And now we can switch to crew deployment, co-op mission, craft heavy arrow. Let's do craft heavy arrow in case we figure out a way to do that. Might as well. But now we have to try to craft a grenade, eliminate it. Basically, we're down to eliminate a bunch of enemies and look for electric circuits, which is more of a normal thing. So we're going to open all cases. Let's see what kind of goodies we're getting. We got the Brutal Ex-Convict Nails. We're the Dudley Boys, so we got wood. Uh, rubber, glass, wire. Batteries, lead. More of the Brutal Ex-Convict Nails. Um, nothing that we get from this is going to count towards uh, any of these missions where we're supposed to unlock... Um, Yeah, like it does. The, even if we'd gotten electric circuits, it wouldn't count for this. So now we need to try to eliminate wanderers, trackers, craft grenades, and craft heavy arrows. So let's see if we know how to craft grenades. Grenade. <laughs> Crowbar? Range? No. Thrusting? No. Nope. Normal arrow is not a heavy arrow. 
it's possible that crafting a normal arrow will maybe learning to do that is part of what we need to do Oh, it looks like we got 10 by doing that. I thought maybe we would learn how to... Um... I thought maybe, just maybe... It would turn out that uh, crafting a normal arrow would unlock the ability to craft heavy arrows doesn't seem to work that way. I'd like to get out of my base before I call it a video here, so... Ah, crap. Looks like I can't use the, um... Really uh, looks like they're not going to let me um, have a bow and a pipe or a uh, spear. I need either one handed weapon, a two handed weapon, a firearm. It doesn't look like it lets you do a thrusting weapon as your secondary or as your ba on your back. Well, that's a shame. Well, that being the case, maybe it would be time. And we're playing around. We're having fun. We're doing different stuff. We're experimenting here. Maybe now's the time to make a baseball bet. So now we're going around with a baseball bat and a bow and arrow. Oh, that's my flashlight. How do I switch to, um... Okay. That seems logical enough. Alright. I think I made sense of that. Uh, I've been away from the game for quite a while, guys. So, um, let's see what we can do with these. We got all sorts of side ops now. Strong Kuban crystal energy reaction detected. Small animals. Inactive wormhole transporter. That's probably something we want to do. But, uh, our main mission is down that way. Maybe we should go to the, um... Maybe we should figure out what's up with the strong Kuban crystal reaction. But that's probably easiest done with the power of teleportation. Save us at least a little time. Because now I feel like I spent a whole video just rem you know easing back into the game. Which would be fine, except for the fact that I'm only uploading uh, on weekends, and I'm only uploading two episodes a day, so. The meandering pace, I don't mind a nice meandering paced uh, playthrough, but if I were watching this playthrough, and I were you, and I was, I'm not watching all of JG's content, but I'm watching this particular series, it might feel like it's, it's coming out a little slow. So let's, um... Let's try to get over here. I guess we're in the dust now, so I need to bear in mind that big green light behind me is... Oh. Looks like we've had some, uh, some stuff that is bio, bio flesh regenerated. That's a phrase people use, right? 
What I'm getting at is it looks like some, um... I full cleared this place of anything useful, but I guess it's to come back. I wonder if the enemies around here have come back. Well, it was probably too much to ask that whatever was, um hidden away in this uh, box here would come back, but... Hey, check out the outfit. It's, uh... It's like the old Gorlukovich uh, striped outfit. So that big green light is, uh... We kind of want to remember what that is, because that's gonna be, um... I'm forgetting what button is what. I'm trying to figure out what button is gonna allow me to sneak. circle. And see, that's this is what's driving me nuts. I've already lost track of where we came from. The freaking dust, man. So I suppose I'm always carrying my, um, doesn't look like he wants to be snuck up on. Ah, jerk. I see you there, friend. I, I kind of snuck up on you, but I guess I didn't sneak up on you good. That's a little more like it. I don't know. Somebody asked the question. I really don't know what would be accomplished by uh, faulting these guys right now. Because I don't have, like... There's probably a later mission where I'm allowed to build zombie pens or something. As long as I only encounter a few of them at a time, it's fairly easy to sneak up on them. This game really is mostly all about um, just stacking more and more of the same enemy on you until you can't handle any more of them. Oh, now here's the other problem. I come over here. Strong Kuban reaction. Oh, damn it. Hey, I'm trying to climb up on this thing, if you don't mind, game. Yeah, this is where I need that spear that I no longer have. So have to use ammo to kill them this way. I feel like if I if I'm going to continue along with my old um, the old ways are the best ways, and that is to s stab guys with a spear from up high. Because it's going to be a pain in the butt to deal with them this way.
jerks. Get where I can shoot you. Right in the balls. Yep, I should do that, shouldn't I? So all this means that I've pretty much failed to... Oh, I'm getting my arrows back. Okay. That makes sense. So we've got a Red Dead Redemption style... Not that it's, they really invented the concept, but you get your arrows back if you... You know. So I had two misses, which means those arrows are just gone, but okay. Could probably hunt for them if I really wanted to. But I'm already running low on oxygen, so let's try to... Try to collect them back. And curse the fact that the game won't let you carry a... We had the same issue sometimes in Metal Gear Solid Five. By we, I mean me and Bobo. Couldn't necessarily take along the weapon set that you wanted because they had what felt like arbitrary slots that certain things used. So I'm running out of oxygen now. I have to say, I don't know why I haven't been given credit for winning this. Because it is clearly time for me to get the hell out of here. I want to set that as my objective. How do I do that? Where am I anyway? I hate this game sometimes, so I'm lost. I think it's this way that I'm trying to go. But it's kind of hard to tell. So the thing is, I didn't go that far. I just had to fight enemies along the way, which slowed me down, obviously, and I wasn't necessarily terribly efficient about it. That is, if I'm at the base I think I'm at. Suppose I might not be at the base I think I'm at. The hell was that? Oh, I'm not at the base I think I'm at. Crap. Might be faster to get out of the dust by just going this way. Don't seem to be able to get in there. Am I out of the dust? I must be out of the dust. Yeah, I'm out of the dust. That would be why I'm not out of oxygen. Durr. All right, well, I'm taking a rather roundabout route back, but we've, we've made some important discoveries, like if you fight with a baseball bat, you're not allowed to stab stuff. Like, it's tough to kill stuff with a baseball bat when you're standing up above them on a shipping container, which is normally my preferred way to kill anything. 
So it is perhaps not entirely wise to switch away from the spear. They give it to you early. It's a basic weapon. It's been good to us. We should keep using it. It just annoys me that I can't, say, have the spear and the bow both strapped over my back in some kind of way. But whatever, we had a complete video. I finally got out of the base and did some stuff. Um, I don't remember what I have to do. I guess the oxygen automatically comes back. Slav Whorehound. I'm all thirsty again. How does one make um, energy drinks? Alcohol, which I have some of. Chinese plantain and chemicals. Don't have a lot of Chinese plantain. Don't know how I go about getting more. Gonna let Miranda feel fatigued for a while. Hey, it's only natural. She grew quite a few potatoes. Potatoes are what she grew. Alright guys, uh, I guess I'll call it a video here. When we come back... I'll find some other... I think I'm going to do side ops for a while. I think we've got enough rations and water that I don't... Even though I was, like, speed running towards getting the next story mission. Well, maybe I need to just get to the next story mission. Because that way we know we'll be able to get more clean water. And that's the main thing that had been worrying me. Would be nice to do some side missions. We'll do something next time, folks. That's a promise. Bye-bye.